Gonna do a tarot spread. Ooh. So to do a tarot spread, all you need to do is come up with a question. And lots of people are always asking about the future, but if you know anything, you know that you shouldn't do that. We're gonna ask um, something that's not a yes-no question and something that is not about the future. That leaves pretty much nothing. You know, in the end, you might not want to do that. Just, uh, just be careful with them. You want to shuffle your cards nice and good. You want to just, like, nicely kind of, you know. So once your cards are nice and shuffled, you can lay them out. Like so. Whoopsie. Oh god, that's not good. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I did not, uh, have all of the cards in the deck when I was shuffling. Uh, I guess that's a bit symbolic of the situation. Uh, but anyways, get your question ready. Do you want to just kind of go with your intuition? Just feel, uh, which card feels right to you? Oh, oh, feeling something, feeling something here. Now don't look at it, I know it's tempting, but you're gonna wanna wait until, uh, until you've made your selection. Carefully, careful, carefully, carefully selected selection. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Wow. Yep, that is pretty much me. Uh, yeah, the tarot kind of does th these things to you if you don't take it seriously, uh, the way I was kind of throwing the deck everywhere before. And I didn't even actually ask a question, because I was busy explaining this stuff to you. Alright. Queen of Swords, that's a little better. Now I'm really wishing I asked a question, because I'm going to have no idea how to interpret this for you. But not a problem, just go with the flow, you know. That's what you gotta do. And we have the Three of Wands. Uh... Uh, if I was a really good tarot interpreter person, I would be able to tell you what this means already, but uh, apparently I'm not, so that's why we have this book here. You're going to want to make sure not to get the, the mythic tarot, because you are not going to understand a damn word it says. So, the Fool, he basically represents you before you have any experience at all with anything. Uh, I don't even know if that's really it, so uh, let's just read the book here. What does it say here? Blah, 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 blah. Ah. Okay, first word, Dionysos. Like, what is that? Do I put that on my sandwich? So now that we understand what the card of the Fool means, we can move on to the Queen of Swords. Hera continued to pursue the strange horned child and sent the Titans to tear Dionysos to pieces. Mmm, Dionysos, yeah. Don't know what the devil all of that has to do with the Queen of Swords, but moving on. And the Three of Wands. Blah blah blah. Being the king of Ilocos means very little without the restoration of Zeus' precious fleece and his god sanctuary. What do you frickin' do? So, as you can see, tarot really helps to clear things up when you're confused. Seriously, no, don't mess with it, because it'll mess you up.